Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sure the panel, uh, the attendees are loving this. So, so thank you. Dorothy, over to you, if, if that's okay. Well, well done. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Sean. Okay. Um, can you see um, my share screen? Okay, great. Okay, uh, thank you, Sean, and hi, uh, everybody. I'm uh, Dorothy Lau from Hong Kong Baptist uh, University. And today I would like to talk about um, charity, Kento Pop Stardom, and the pandemic. And I use Eric Kwok's uh, online um, concert uh, as a case. Um, I would like to uh, begin um, my presentation by talking about celebrity and charity in times of the COVID-19. Um, actually, it is also um, uh, something very related to one of my focuses uh, of my own research uh, that is celebrity uh, uh, humanitarianism. Um, during the time of the pandemic, uh, actually, uh, we can see the very presence of celebrities uh, who do charity. So uh, many of them actually uh, donate uh, money uh, for the pandemic uh, relief. Uh, for example, um, uh, they would support uh, hospitals, um, the medical uh, professionals, and some food banks. So in the West, uh, we can have uh, the examples like um, Angelina Jolie, Beyonce, uh, Stephen Curry, and George Clooney, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, they try to donate um, uh, for the good causes in this uh, very phenomenal moment. And uh, besides that, uh, we can also see uh, certain celebrities uh, trying to do good uh, to do good uh, by launching um, certain campaigns. For example, in the West, uh, we have. Um, uh, Charlie Theron, um, uh, who, uh, uh, whose uh, foundation tries to launch a campaign to fight the gender-based uh, violence uh, during the pandemic. So um, in Asia, um, actually, uh, we can see um, uh, quite a number of um, uh, celebrities and tries to um, do good by launching some free concerts. So these free concerts are usually um, um, uh, putting online and to raise funds uh, for a certain target group. Uh, for example, um, we have um, the Project Blue Marble, uh, which is uh, also have uh, the name um, hashtag Our Identity. So this project actually uh, is launched by a group of um, Taiwanese, uh, Malaysian, uh, Korean uh, celebrities in order to raise funds um, to help the pandemic relief. And in Hong Kong, um, uh, actually, uh, that is the focus of my uh, our presentation today. Uh, we can also find a, a couple of us, uh, 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 pop uh, celebrities who launch um, the um, online concerts. So, um, for example, Aaron Fogg. So, um, on the 9th of May, um, Aaron Kwok uh, actually have launched a free online um, charity concert, uh, which is called uh, Aaron Kwok Cheer Up and Dance Charity Concert uh, 2020. And um, this concert actually is co-hosted by Aaron Kwok's, uh, his own um, charity foundation, which is named Aaron Kwok Love and Concern International Charity Fund. And also the YouTube channel, uh, which is called uh, Health Egg. Uh, run by a local veteran uh, industrial practitioner, Lawrence Jack. And this Iron Cross uh, concert uh, was uh, live streamed on multiple channels um, uh, on uh, social media, including Facebook and YouTube. And um, actually, uh, this uh, concert uh, 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 serves as a kind of response to um, the um, uh, uh, to the fact that um, the pandemic uh, actually has given a blow to the uh, local entertainment industry. So I think that uh, this is um, not um, uh, uh, very exceptional to Hong Kong, but also a worldwide uh, phenomenon is that um, the uh, entertainers actually have um, got um, uh, uh, have got no jobs and uh, have been trapped in uh, financial difficulties. So in Hong Kong, uh, many dancers actually are self-employed, and uh, even though they are given um, uh, the government's once-off uh, subsidies, uh, but definitely it is not enough. Therefore, Aaron Kwok, uh, actually, uh, who is um, uh, extremely popular in the local um, uh, uh, entertainment in industry, tries to appeal to the public to um, uh, donate money 
to support this group of dancers through the association called the Hong Kong Dance Performing Artists Association. And this causes uh, channel have attracted 2 million uh, viewers and raised more than uh, 1 million Hong Kong dollars. So um, actually, uh, this entire uh, venture um, is aligned with the star image of Aaron Kwok. So dubbed as one of the four heavenly kings uh, in Hong Kong, Aaron Kwok began his uh, career as a dancer and then a mental pop idol, first in Hong Kong, uh, sorry, first in Taiwan and then in Hong Kong. And then he developed a, uh, a, a, a popularity um, across the Chinese speaking communities. So in this concert, actually he um, gave um, uh, the one hour performance uh, with 100 dancers. So these 100 dancers uh, actually are closely worked uh, with Aaron Kwok in his previous uh, concert tours. And um, actually, uh, if you have seen um, the uh, live stream video of this concert, uh, you will know that um, Aaron Kwok actually um, have uh, performed uh, quite a uh, 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 popular uh, numbers, uh, including uh, the song, for example, I Love You Forever. That is the song uh, from his uh, Mandarin uh, debut album that uh, really made him popular in the 1990s. So um, this uh, entire uh, concert actually have received a very positive public responses and also certain uh, uh, fan engagement. Um, so uh, quite a number of uh, public responses um, usually praises uh, Aaron Kwok, who aged uh, 54, uh, who has given um, the one hour um, fabulous performance, uh, and especially in the hot weather. So um, actually on the 9th of May, um, uh, the weather in Hong Kong was extremely hot. Okay, so the highest temperature was um, uh, 35 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay, so um, uh, 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 viewers uh, usually feel amazed uh, to see Aaron Kwok's um, uh, very uh, energetic uh, uh, performance. And uh, for example, one of the users uh, have left uh, a message on the channel saying that Aaron, uh, Aaron's dance appeals to all generations. And an other user also uh, said that it is not easy to dance for a long time with their mask on. So um, uh, this user is referring to those dancers, as you can see uh, from these pictures. So all dancers uh, actually have their masks on throughout uh, the entire hour. So um, what uh, this concert uh, actually have done is that uh, it tries to open up some um, new uh, aspects for um, the star image of Aaron Kwok. So in the past, uh, Aaron Kwok um, uh, is usually um, uh, being recognized as, um, uh, as a dancer, as um, the uh, 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 canto pop icon, but not very frequently connected to charity. Okay, but after um, this uh, endeavor, it seems that uh, some new dimensions um, in his public uh, persona has been opened up. And besides that, I would like to also um, try to highlight that um, Aaron Kwok's uh, concert uh, actually have um, served to resuscitate the so-called Hong Kong brand in the time of the pandemic. So um, as you can see, okay, let, uh, let me get back uh, to um, uh, these pictures. As you can see, this uh, Aaron Kwok's uh, concert uh, uh, was held uh, in this um, uh, in this place. So uh, this is um, uh, called the Ocean Terminal Deck. Okay, so uh, this is uh, one of the, uh, uh, a part of a very famous uh, Hong Kong mall. So uh, we can see the backdrop, uh, that is the very famous uh, Victoria Harbor. Okay, so uh, that is exactly the place which tries to connect uh, the Hong Kong Island and the Kowloon Peninsula. So um, th uh, this uh, iconic landmark, and also um, uh, the Victoria um, Harbor skyline um, is a kind of uh, the symbol of the um, uh, locale of Hong Kong. And also Aaron Kwok's um, concert is usually being um, uh, uh, compared to another um, charity concert uh, that is uh, run by Sam Hui on um, the 12th of uh, April. 
So uh, who is Sam Hui? Uh, Sam Hui actually is uh, considered as the father of the Canto pop. And he is a very strong symbol of the rise of the Hong Kong consciousness in the 1990, uh, 1960s in Hong Kong. And uh, in uh, ac academia, um, Sam Hui is uh, also um, a very common um, object of inquiry uh, for um, the research, uh, no matter in uh, the cultural studies and in sociology. To talk about the um, uh, um, uh, the local, the rise of the local consciousness, um, uh, usually uh, in relation to a kind of postcolonial reading. Okay, so um, that is uh, very interesting. Is that um, Aaron Kwok uh, 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 usually saying that uh, he was. Uh, uh, inspired by Sam Hoy, and that's why he also launched a charity concert, uh, which is um, uh, um, tries to do good uh, for the uh, local entertainers who are being affected by the pandemic. And uh, but I I would like to point out that um, one of the things that uh, I can see is that for uh, Sam Hoy, uh, it seems that uh, his uh, image uh, signifies a kind of a local consciousness, uh, which is uh, um, burgeoned in the colonial times in Hong Kong, um, referring to a sense of consolidation and uh, unification. Whereas Aaron Kwok's uh, uh, persona tries to also uh, connote a kind of local consciousness, but a little bit different from that of um, uh, Sam Hoy. And um, I would like to um, say that uh, you can see this post. Um, actually, this post uh, was um, given by um, the Hong Kong chief executive, uh, Carrie Lam, and uh, saying that how uh, 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 she and uh, his colleagues um, tries to enjoy Sam Hoy's uh, uh, charity concerts in the middle of a uh, in the middle of um, a meeting, okay. Therefore, afterwards, uh, there have been a certain saying is that Sam Hoy's concert actually has been hijacked by Carrie Lam to try to sell his uh, Hong Kong is home uh, strategy. Okay, so um, here, uh, what we can see is that uh, Sam Hoy's uh, public image uh, um, is uh, very much aligned uh, with the official discourse uh, of Hong Kong. So to a certain extent, uh, it seems that um, uh, this Sam Hoy's concert and also uh, the public image of Sam Hoy is certain kind of um, uh, politicized, okay? Okay, but uh, for Aaron Falk, it seems that uh, uh, on the one hand, uh, his um, concert was not uh, being uh, appropriated by Carrie Lam, okay? And uh, also very interestingly is that um, um, uh, there have been a certain um, internet users have tried to respond to um, uh, Aaron Cross concert by relating to the recent uh, Hong Kong protests. Okay, so uh, it seems that um, uh, a kind of a local consciousness uh, 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 signified by um, Aaron Cross concert and also Aaron Cross uh, images uh, is um, uh, a kind of uh, being uh, related to um, the spirit uh, of the uh, protesters. Okay, so um, there have also been a certain um, certain um, uh, uh, episodes uh, talking about um, uh, Aaron Cross's uh, presence in the uh, uh, local protests uh, last year and also this year. But I do not have time to uh, expand uh, this uh, topic. Okay, uh, but uh, I would like to stop here and see uh, whether there are uh, any um, questions and comments uh, during the Q&A. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Dorothy. That was wonderful. I love the idea of local consciousness and that was beautifully weaved together. So, so thank you again.